A little while back, I bought this fingerprint door handle for inside my house, kind of on a whim. And I showed it quickly in a few of my videos. And since then, I've been getting tons of comments about it. Then I went on to buy two more of these. Since this is my third one I picked up, I figure it's probably time that I answer some of your questions and show you why this is much better than some of those Amazon reviews are saying. Before we install this thing, let me give you a quick rundown on how it works. Technically, this isn't smart because it doesn't connect to the internet and it doesn't have an app, but I think that's kind of a good thing for this because it keeps it simple and it also keeps the cost down. So there's a fingerprint sensor on there, which you can add up to 20 fingerprints. I think that's plenty for all the people in your house. There's also this little groove next to the fingerprint sensor that helps you line up your thumb and that helps it be more accurate. There is also a button on the other side and that will switch it to keep it in locked or unlocked mode. The door is always open. Please open the door. It has a rechargeable battery in the handle. There's a micro USB port, which obviously I would have loved to see a USB-C port, but I haven't needed to charge my one I installed about eight months ago. So for how infrequent you'll need to charge it, I don't think it's that big of a deal. On the other side of the handle, there's a spot for the key and you can use that if the fingerprint sensor wasn't working or if the battery was dead. All the keys are different, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but now I have three different sets of keys for all these. We never really used to lock our inside doors because you couldn't find the key, or if you did find it, it was just a huge pain to kind of guess where to unlock it. But with these, it makes it so much easier. We added it to this room because we have some expensive camera equipment in here, and now I can just leave the door always locked. But it's still really easy for me and my wife to come in and out of this room. And then we added another one of these locks to the other room, and that's because it has a 3D printer in it. And those 3D printers can get really hot, and I didn't want my three-year-old to go up and touch it and burn herself, so when it is printing, we'll just lock the door, but it's still really easy to go in and out of that door. When this door handle is locked, you can still move it up and down, and for some reason, my kids don't get as upset when they can't open the door like that versus a door handle that won't budge. Oh, yeah. I don't understand. All right, I'm here right outside of our bathroom and this is gonna be the next spot where I'm gonna install one of these door handles. And the reason why is that if I'm showering, of course I'm gonna lock the door, but it's kind of annoying for my wife, Allie, if she wants to come in here and get ready at the same time. Because if I leave this door unlocked, one of my kids could accidentally wander in here and that could scar them for life and the price of therapy to fix that issue is gonna be way more expensive than the price of this door handle. Installation is really easy. You just need a simple screwdriver to remove the existing door handle, and then installing the new one is pretty much the same as removing the existing one, but in reverse order. Okay, now that I got this door handle installed, I wanna debunk a couple of the bad Amazon reviews. So what they say is that any fingerprint will open up the door lock. People said that even their toe would open up this door lock. And the reason for that is that this door handle has not been set up. But once I set up the first fingerprint on this, I can only use the fingerprints that I add from then on out. So since I haven't registered a fingerprint, I can use any of my fingerprints right now or even the palm of my hand open to open up the door. And that's by design so you don't lock yourself out. So now that I've registered my thumb, none of my other fingerprints are gonna work. You can see it's blinking red and it's not gonna open up. But if I use my thumb, it opens up just like it's supposed to. This door handles around 70 to $80, depending if it's on sale or not. And I'll link everything down in the description. And again, I am not affiliated at all with this company. I don't even know who they are. It's just a door handle that I really like using and it just makes my life easier. Thanks for watching. Hey dad, can you help me with this craft? Oh yeah, sure. Why is there tape on here? Eh, don't worry about it.